Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to solve one problem. And the topic here is find all the employees with the same salary in SAS. Here to understand this, let's look into a sample data set. In here, I have a sample data set wherein I have two variables. The first one is known as EMP underscore NO and the second one is salary and the goal is to find what is the salary within various EMP underscore NO. Here for 10,000 salary we have three employees and their numbers are 001, 003 and 006 and in the case of 9,000 it is 002, 004 and 007. We want our result to be something like this. By taking data set from here, we want our result to be like this. Now, first let us create our sample data set. Now that I have created my sample data set, let's think about how to solve this problem. The first important point to think about is, we need to group things by salary. Whenever we want to do anything to group by the salary, the first thing we have to think about is we need to sort all the values by salary so that we can do further processing wherein we can get results something like this. And another important point also to remember is we do not want missing values because missing values are something which are not comparable and they are not same. So we do proc sort and also we are saying here explicitly in dataset option that we do not want when the salary is missing. So I'm saying in here where equal to salary not equal to missing and then we are also creating out equal to T1 and in our sort as we want to do salary as a group here we have used by salary and then once we run this it will create a new data set t1 in which our records are sorted by salary and also we do not have any missing values in here then the next important point to remember here is Whenever we want to do any processing by a group in data step, the best way to do is by using first dot variable and last dot variable concept. I have made a very, very detailed video on this topic and link for the same I will give in the description below, but I would quickly go into this topic and then try to explain you very briefly. And whenever we have used by statement in data step like this, it creates two more automatic variables and these are temporary variables and these are first dot variable and last dot variable. Now let us talk about a couple of important points. The first one is whenever we want to use a by statement like this in data step, the data set itself should be sorted by this particular variable. As our data is not sorted by the salary, we have done the proc sort and we have used by salary in here. Next important point is, I have also have a put statement in here wherein I am saying put underscore all underscore. What this does is it puts all the variable values into the log. Now let us quickly run this and see our results. And in here, you can see a lot of values in here. But I do not want to discuss last two values, which are again automatic variables, means they are created whenever data step runs. And these automatic variables are not needed for our discussion in here, but we are interested in first dot variable and last dot variable. Now, what I will do is I will copy this and paste it in here. So 
let's see here and discuss what first dot variable and last dot variable is first dot salary here the salary is the variable equal to 1 indicates that its first observation in a group our group here is salary equal to 900 and our first dot salary equal to 1 indicates that this is the first observation in this group and last dot salary equal to 1 indicates that this is a last observation in the group and here the important point to remember is whenever it has a value of zeros for first dot salary and last dot salary it indicates that it is neither a first in group or last in group now another important point to remember here let's look into emp underscore no equal to 008 for this first dot salary equal to 1 and last dot salary equal to 1 that indicates this is a first record in the group of 11,000 salary but this is also the last record or observation in the group indicating that there is only one observation as we want to have employees with more than one with the same salary we are not interested in salary where there is only one record so the next step will be to delete this record and deleting it is also very simple and all we need to do is if first dot salary equal to 1 and last dot salary equal to 1 then delete so these automatic variables of first dot and last dot variables help us to manipulate the same in our data step so here if I say first dot salary equal to 1 and last dot salary equal to 1 what will happen is we are deleting this particular record because we are saying then delete now let's try to do this and see our results now you can see our results are getting closer that is we now only have two salaries that is 9000 and 10000 where there is more than one employee number now it is time to go into the next step and the next step what we want to do is we want to take this salary equal to 9000 and concatenate all of this employee underscore no and for 10,000 I again want to concatenate all these values to show that they all belong to one group now to do this we need to do few things that is we need to create a new variable and also we need to use retain statement I have made a 20 minute detailed video on retain link for the same I will give in the description below this is how we use retain statement we say retain followed by the new variable in which I am calling as emp underscore no underscore with underscore same now I would also like to discuss the code which we are going to use and I will also want to go a little bit detail in this so the code I need to add for the above is if first dot salary equal to 1 then emp underscore no underscore with underscore same equal to missing and then emp underscore no with the same equal to cat x of here we mention a delimiter and the delimiter is comma followed by a space and then emp underscore no with underscore same comma emp underscore no so basically we are concatenating these two variables and we are introducing this delimiter between them now let us see how this works apply this logic to and to understand everything better now let us start with the group 9000 salary so when it was our first dot salary equal to 1 what has happened 
to emp underscore no with the same is it gets the value of missing so in the next step this missing value gets concatenated with emp underscore no means missing value followed by concatenating with 0 0 2 and the value will be 0 0 2 that is what I am showing you in here so it is starting with a missing value and it is concatenating with 0 0 2 and then it results in 0 0 2 and as I said to retain this emp underscore no with underscore same this 0 0 2 is retained to next observation and this concatenates with 0 0 4 and it becomes 0 0 2 comma 0 0 4 and then as there is a retain it again retains the value in here and then it concatenates with emp underscore no which is the value of 0 0 7 and it becomes 0 0 2 0 0 4 0 0 7 and this emp underscore no with the same has all the values related to our salary equal to 9000 now we can understand why we have this logic of code wherein i am saying if first dot salary equal to 1 then emp underscore no with same equal to missing because if I do not have this particular statement it will concatenate with the next salary that is 10,000 and I do not want and when next salary is 10,000 when first dot salary equal to 1 I am saying to go for missing so again here we are starting like a fresh and we are resetting our values and then again I have this particular logic of cat x wherein 0 0 1 concatenates with the missing value and becomes 0 0 1 and then it retains and then concatenates with 0 0 3 and then it becomes 0 0 1 0 0 3 and it concatenates with 0 0 6 by retaining the value and it becomes this particular result try to put whatever we have discussed in the step above that is our retain statement and also this concatenation step and in here our code looks something like this and in here the retain statement doesn't have to be in here it could be in here also I have just kept this code in here to make it look much more cleaner and in here I have added one more statement that is length statement with this particular variable to be 20. The reason being if we don't do what will happen is emp underscore no with the same equal to missing will have the length of 1. I have discussed a very detailed video on this whenever the variable is first seen by SAS compiler that length is fixed so I don't want to get it fixed to the length of 1 but I want to get it fixed to the length of 20 so I am doing this so always make the length explicitly a longer value so that it accommodates all the result which you want in your particular variable now let us quickly run this step and see our result and in the result you can see that our emp underscore no with the same has exactly the values which I have discussed in here. Now let us move to our next step also in here. Here we are really interested in this particular observation and this particular observation because we want to know what are the employees which has this particular salary that is same salary 
and also we are not interested in this particular variable so we can drop this variable how do we pick up this particular value now let us go back to our code and if you see in here the value which we want here is belonging to last dot salary so i need to increase my code and add if last dot salary equal to 1 now if i run this and also you here you can see that i have emp underscore no for drop statement now let us quickly run this and you can see that we have result exactly as we want now i want to tell one another thing and then wrap up this whole thing and that is whenever we have our code first dot salary equal to one and last dot salary equal to one or anything equal to one we really need not mention equal to one like what i am showing you in here this is exactly same code what i have shown you above but I have removed equal to 1 and made it little bit more simpler. Now let us quickly run this and see our result. And if you can see in here, our result is exactly like same what I have shown you. To sum this whole thing up, what I can say is, by understanding our problem and building our code step by step, we were able to solve a particular problem this can apply to any problem always you need to simplify your code start with a simpler step and see your result and slowly add your code piece by piece and then finally you come to your result that's all for this topic if you like this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you